What's up guys, I'm Red Herring, and we're going to be looking at the revamped Battle.net in addition to me playing a ranked or maybe unranked game. Actually, I might try unranked, but um, as many of you know, uh, Battle.net did receive a huge update recently um, just to prep uh, for the release of Heart of the Swarm, which is coming in less than a month. So, hope you guys are pumped for that. I certainly am. I really want to get back into playing and casting some more StarCraft, so uh, Heart of the Swarm is really, really exciting for me. Um, and yeah, this is the kind of new the new interface here, which I really really like. This patch um, is I think taking StarCraft in a really really good direction with the addition of skins and uh, kind of leveling. I know for competitive players this really won't change a thing, but for newer players this is something that they can easily get into, kind of push them to play more, and I think that's awesome. So I will be starting a I think I'll do unranked, yeah, I'll do unranked. I did play one unranked game earlier, and uh, just to kind of see how it worked, and it matched me up with some platinum guy who I totally destroyed, so hopefully I'll get a, a closer level, um, a, a closer match here. Um, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Hopefully this will not take too long to find this match. Um, again, I apologize for the lack of content. Uh, I haven't put out a game in a while, and I've just been kind of busy, um, but, you know, I, as I've said before, I do want to get back into StarCraft, so expect to see more stuff from me soon. And awesome, it looks like this guy is going to be a Zerg player, and you can see from the outline of the portrait, this is something I learned uh, just from observation, that that is their league. So mine is, is Master level, and it looks like he is Diamond. So this should be a, a, a little closer of a game, even if he's not Masters. Uh, he could be High Diamond, uh, or maybe Smurfing, you know, I, I don't know. But it's a step up from the Platinum guy I played last time. So... <laughs> Hope you guys are excited for this. Let's start it off with a good luck, have fun. That auto mine, it still throws me off. Like I'm, I'm trying to like figure out how to split with it, like how to like. I don't think like you have to be really fast on splitting um, from that auto mine, or if you can turn it off. I don't know. I haven't really kind of experienced. Um, I haven't kind of messed around with it enough to know, but I do know this map. This map is Cloud Kingdom, been the ladder pool for a while, uh, and it's one I'm familiar with. So. That's a, that's a good thing, I suppose. Gives you that worker count, 8 over 24. Uh, I'm not sure if I like that or not. I mean, you kind of know already. Or I guess for newer players, it's, it's again to help those guys, so... Okay. And uh, notice how I put the pylon up here as opposed to down. Um, and I am not sure why I did that, honestly. I think I was in auto mode. Autopilot mode. But I will be going for a, for, uh, a Forge Fast Expand. Hopefully. Have they added these, like, destructible rocks to, like, every single map? Because I feel like they have. In any case, no, no, uh, fast pool, so we're safe there. I'll probably be going Nexus first, unless he puts down... Nope, still no pool. Gonna be going for that hatch. Just gonna follow that drone. And, uh... Yeah, it looks like he's not too happy about that. But he's gonna be going to put the, the hatch down at that other location... Which is totally fine. I'm just going to make sure that is indeed where he puts it. And, uh, you know, if I was in a cheesier mood, I would definitely go for some sort of rush just to take advantage of the the, the distance uh, the queens take. <laughs> they, take they take a while to get down there, but uh, I think I'll just play this game more straight up. I'm not sure if this guy wants to put down another hatch. If he does, I'll let him do it. It's fine. Um... There's no way that he's going to be aggressive, and that'll let me just macro up and get a good uh, good death ball going for you guys. Um, I don't see a pool, so I don't know... I don't know what's up with that, but... There is no pool, which means he's definitely going for a super, super fast third hatch. There it is right there. This is going to be a macro game already. I mean, if you're going to play unranked, why cheese anyway? I guess that's kind of the logic of it trying to get better, and it doesn't really take too much skill to get better at cheesing. But, uh, but what do I know? I'm Protoss. I cheese anyway. <laughs> so it looks like he's following my, my probe around with that drone, just keeping tabs on uh, what I'm doing, making sure I'm not cannon rushing. Gonna be transferring those workers down there a tad early. And putting down this pylon here, start guys in gas, everything is looking a-okay, probably want to start a cannon one of these days, 
to make sure he does not rush me. And let's get out of there. Also start zealot production. One zealot, that is. And then I need to go for that cybernetics core, which I'll be putting at the top of this ramp. There it goes down. And that overlord is getting out of there. No real need to, but, uh, and there's another one up there. So he has tabs on everything I'm doing right now. Not a big deal. That's pretty, pretty darn ordinary. We'll be going for that gas, uh, assimilator. And my plan here is to actually go for Phoenix right now. Um, that's a pretty good opening against this three base Zerg play. Um, as uh, a lot of Zergs will mass roach after that, and you know, Phoenix can easily transition to Void Rays, which will destroy roaches. Um, so, putting those guys in the gas geyser, and uh, let's see here. Make another Zealot. This Zealot can go probe around their base. Scout around. Slowlings can't really do much against this Zealot unless there are a lot of them. And if there are a lot of them, then I need to know anyway. Um, so there we go with the double Stargate. Really going to commit to this airplay. Getting prepped for how the swarm where all I'm going to do is <laughs> do airplay. I don't know about that, but I, I really do want to want to do some Void Raid action, some uh, Phoenix action, all that good stuff. Make sure you can't scout it though, that's that's a huge part of it. If he scouts it coming, it will be very easy for the Zerg player to put up some spores and shut down much of anything uh, that I can do with Phoenix. Make sure to hold the U position. And okay, that's a couple, couple queens, not too big a deal. He hasn't started to actually spread the creep from base to base, which I think is a little bit of an error. What is this, spine crawler? Come on! Come on! <laughs> oh well. Starting a production on those void... Oh, not void rays, excuse me. Phoenix. And, uh... Do you have the stalker here? Chillin'. So, at this point in the game, I'm pretty much just uh, waiting out to see what his tech choice is. I didn't get any of that info um, with that one zealot. Not that I was expecting to, but um, I will be going for my third base momentarily. And with four phoenix, that is a good amount to just go poke some stuff. So going down there. Maybe he didn't see that, but he probably did. But in any case, the thing about doing this Phoenix play is that oftentimes Zerg players will just counterattack with a lot of roaches, try to kill you, uh, which is not a not a bad idea. And uh, he definitely knows I'm there. So, let's see how this goes here. No, oh, maybe he doesn't. Minimap awareness, bud. It's all about that minimap awareness. Oh, he's going Spire? Silly, silly man. I'm sorry, bud. Spire's not what you want to do against Mass Phoenix. So, this is going to be a quick game. Spire is definitely the, the, the one thing I hard counter in this, uh, in this strategy here. Go for cannons. Kill these queens here. That one spore will tickle, but it shouldn't be much of a problem at all. Just make sure that this uh, Phoenix count doesn't die. And still, he's going on with this, uh, this spire. I'm trying to save these Phoenix as best as possible. Or save as many as possible. And uh, rallying to my new expansion here. Oh, 
Let's see what he has here. I'm sorry I'm supply blocking you, bud. Let's kill that, and then go kill over here. Oh, mutalisks. That's, like, you should go corruptors, man. Not more mutas. Mutas is not the answer. Oh. Unranked is where you kind of try out all this stuff anyway, I guess. Um, so if you can tech switch, then it won't be... Oh, am I rallying probes? You probably... You guys are like, why is he rallying probes? I don't know. That's, uh... I think I mishockeyed something. Anyway, good thing this is not a ranked game. <laughs> you see how rusty I am from all this, uh... But, let's see, where's your... There it is. Can I really not pick him up? Okay, that took way too long. Yeah, let's see. Start some upgrades for this to kill you. Let's uh, put some stuff down there. Keep my hotkeys going, keep my macro going. Did I miss... Oh man, my hockeys are awful. Hockeys are awful this game. I gotta remember to keep my stuff active. Let's not engage right now. I haven't lost too many Phoenix right now, so that's good. Keep these guys occupied. Keep this fortified. Oh man. Oh man. Lots of stuff down there. And that is not what I need to be doing right now. Oh man. Oh shoot, someone's at the door. <laughs> uh, one second. Door person, you can wait. I have to go kill these guys. Um, Phoenix, go on. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> oh, canceling looks weird. You cancel it that way. That's okay, we can just kill some of these guys right here. Oh man. I wish I could see when my up, when my war warp gates are right. Oh, you can. Oh, sweet. You can actually see that. I'm gonna shoot. That was possible. I like I'm like throwing away a lot of units here. So, this is actually kind of not a good game for me. <laughs> Um, maybe harassing a little bit more. But I can't really harass the amount of units I have. Man, I love having this additional range here. Really good. Mineral field, I am here in the shadows. Mineral 
It sucks I'm like running out of money. I need to. Research complete. Your probes are under attack. Base is under attack. Come on, I just want to put down this base and get money. That's all I want to do. We cannot hold bases under attack. And you know what else I need to do? Let's put down that. That will allow me to do a lot of good things. Namely, kill all those pesky zerglings. Keep those upgrades going. Wow, I for totally forgot about upgrades. This is how bad I've gotten. <laughs> I should be stomping this guy right now, I feel like. Unless he's like smurfing or something. But, I'm not. So, as soon as that comes down, I'll have Archons though. Archons are really good. Just gonna be scouting down here. Oh, I'm supply caps. No way. Okay, well, it's, it's good. I guess. These guys upgrade. It's not so great. They're okay. That's <laughs> just like nothing. That's okay. This is not the hotkey for this. Oh, it's a V? I'm so confused. I thought it was different. Okay. Well. Here we go. That sucks. I killed a lot of his dudes, so... <sighs> okay, let's see, let's step up our game here. What should I do? What do I need to do? Research complete. Mineral field depleted. Could have sworn B was happy for that. In any case, here we go. Time for the death push. Oh, I don't have a robotics tool. This is how badly I am playing. Okay. Here we go. Doesn't even matter. Protoss, death ball. Trumps all. Maybe. Let's just keep pushing. Keep pushing. Okay, I could have sworn it was B. Thing is, carriers are really good. So, that helps me out. Sorry, mate. 
Honestly, this guy did play well. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that guy did play well, and I was not on my on the top of my game there, but, uh... There's no... Was that guy diamond? Was he diamond? He was diamond. I need to look at this guy's stats. In any case, like, he had, like, more APM than me. <laughs> time spent supply capped, not much, because I was under supply, like, the whole time. Average on spent resources, not so great. I really like the the um, integration of the performance tab, um, by the way. That's something that was introduced in the patch, and I really, really like it. It tells you APM, it tells you all these stats that uh, that you didn't necessarily get unless you used, like, a third-party sys... Uh, not system, but a third-party uh, program um, in the old the old Battle.net. So I really like this, but uh, let's take a look at this guy's profile, because I feel like... Oh, look at that. That's so tight. I like all the new art in the game, that's really cool. Um, and okay, so he's like high diamond, so... Alright, I feel like, yeah, I mean, that shows how much I have to step up my game just to just to be able to compete at the Master League level again. I mean, I beat him, but it was not as close as I would have liked. Um, I think I should have multitasked a bit more, uh, done some drops, uh, gotten the robotics facility a lot earlier, kind of scouted out what he was doing, and I re just really kind of reciprocating, kind of reacting to what he was doing. I needed to be more aggressive and kind of assert myself in that game, but um, in any case, hope you guys enjoyed it, and stay tuned for more content. I'll definitely be on that Heart of the Swarm stuff as soon as that comes out. So, uh, yeah, consider subscribing, thumbs up, and thanks, guys. I'll see you guys soon.